Hello and welcome to Minecraft Server Reviews. This is a review update for the Mineplex server, so if you haven't seen my full review of Mineplex, see that first and then come back to this video, as this video isn't a full review but only an update. Now, what I will be covering in this update review is Mineplex's anti-cheat system, in-game buyable stuff and platform support. So with that said, let's get started. I will start off with Mineplex's anti-cheat system. I said in my full review that when it comes to hackers, they do alright, and I still say that, but I just wish that the amount of hackers on Mineplex would be much lower. One time I was playing, and in fact recording episode 3 of my Minecraft server Let's Play series, I played 3 matches of the game Skywars, and in each match there was a hacker. Now this can really ruin a player's gaming experience, like in my case, where I was recording a video, trying to have some nice and fair Skywars matches, and then a hacker comes along and ruins the entire game. I'm not saying that Mineplex stinks at banning hackers or that their anti-cheat system is really bad, I'm just saying that it could be better compared to other Minecraft servers. Just keep that in mind when playing. In my opinion, Mineplex should really focus a lot of their energy in making their anti-cheat better if they aren't already doing so. Mineplex is one of my favorite servers to go play on, and it would be much better with less hackers. And while we are on the subject of anti-cheat, it would be nice to get an announcement if you will, of how many hackers Gwen the anti-cheat have banned the last month, year or week, or all three for that matter. It could be shown as a board in the lobby, or be put in chat occasionally, or both. As it is, there aren't any way of getting that information as far as I know. But with all that said, I still love Mineplex very much, and as I said, it is one of my favorite servers to go to, even with hackers. I just wish that there would be less hackers, and Mineplex would be even more loved by me. But this is just my personal thoughts and feelings about Mineplex, and it might not occur to everyone, of course. Alright. The stuff that you can buy in-game. I said that you could in my main review, but I didn't actually come with much detail. Sorry about that. Let's do it now, shall we? So, there are different things that you can buy in-game with in-game currencies. The first I'm going to tell you about are chests. These can be bought with treasure shards earned from winning games. It should also be noted that you can buy them with real money from their online shop as well. The chests mainly give you stuff like gadgets, pets, morphs, and a bunch of other stuff. There are different types of chests, some which are more powerful than others when it comes to the quality of loot that you get. Some are also only available at certain times like Halloween, Christmas, etc. You can see more details in the shop and in game. It should be noted that I don't know if you can actually buy the special ones for like Halloween, etc. in the online shop when they're in season. The other thing that you can buy are kits. Almost every game on Mineplex has more than one kit. Some which are free, some which costs another currency on Mineplex called gems, and some kits are only unlockable if you complete all the achievements in that specific game. It should be noted that you can't unlock these in their online shop. And as the final thing, let's now talk about their platform support. From what I know, you can play from any platform that runs Minecraft, whether it's the Java Edition, Xbox, iOS, Android, or just any Minecraft platform basically. But the key thing is, from how I understand it, is that all these players playing from different devices actually play on the same server as everybody else. So if you're playing Java version for example, you might encounter people who is playing on a completely different platform than you. or say you are using Xbox and you have a friend that plays on Java version, you are able to play on the same server with each other in the exact same game. Alright, I think that pretty much wraps up my review update. I know it was much, but a review update is a review update. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Remember to see my full review if you haven't already. And also, if you're interested in gameplay of the servers that I do reviews on, go to my Minecraft server Let's Play series. I will have a link in the description. Anyways, 
hope you enjoyed and if you did remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my later reviews and in my other videos. Have a great day. Bye bye.